You're too good for this world, Samsung Galaxy S8. Let me put you out of your misery. Die, you scum. What's up guys, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is practically here. So why wait for us to get it in hand when we can start testing it right now? The Chinese clone edition anyway. I wanted to do a fun little video you guys actually requested. The Samsung Galaxy S8 versus iPhone 7 Plus drop and water test. I just want to see the Chinese versions of these phones, how they'll compete and compare. I mean, this is kind of a precursor to the final video, which we're going to be doing here once the S8 releases. I'm actually kind of excited to see how these will do. So let's go ahead and start drowning them. And uh, I don't have high hopes for them, to be honest, but we'll put them in a foot of water here, see how they do, and then drop them, see what the durability is like on these sub $100 clones is. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Overseas Edition. So I've already reviewed these on camera, kind of funny. They uh, mimic the design so well. They faked it with the display, though. So I'm gonna power this on so you guys can see, but they made it look round but it's not. They claim on the box that it is water resistant. So there is the Samsung Galaxy S8. And this is actually the best iPhone 7 Plus clone I've ever seen. So it does a lot of things right. It's got the jet black finish correct, all the text over here. Um, even the OS is pretty sophisticated. It has a real working touch ID, which is super cool. So here they are. I'm gonna go ahead and set the auto lock to not to work. And look at that, it's even got the new buttons on. It's kind of funny. So they went above and beyond to recreate the way these things looked. But are they capable in the water or against drop? All right, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna start the timer over here as soon as I drop these in the water. I think the iPhone will win here. This thing was like so crappily built, it was falling apart when I was just reviewing it. In three, two, one. And they are off. Look at all those bubbles literally coming out from every port. Not something you see on uh, the official versions. So this is just regular water from the tap, nothing special. I'm gonna see if I can press the button. Oh, this water is freezing. So I can't press the button because it is capacitive, because it is a real Touch ID. S8s, ooh, that was fast. Tweaking out, man, that's bad. So in a little while here, I'm gonna do the real S8 versus uh, iPhone 7 Plus. And the S8, I mean, they've always done really, really well, but the iPhone, even though it's not on the same water resistance rating, they've done well too. So I'm, I'm really curious which one will win because last year seemed the iPhone won in the deep water test, but tweaking out, um, the voice control activated here. Oh, I think the power button is starting to get affected because it's going off there. And I know this isn't the real test, but it's still interesting. Looks like the S8 is down for the count. And that was what, like, one minute. Surprised it lasted even that long. Oh, back up and running. All right, back in it goes. I want it to be dead. So it's still alive. Oh my goodness, this is not only a water test, but a freezing water test. No, 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 don't turn off. Oh, the buttons still work. I can't interact. With the oh, they can. All right, sweet. Back in it goes. Oh, the screen is starting to tweak out a little, but so far so good. So uh, I guess we'll wait a little over two minutes now. Am I just seeing that from the ripple of the water or is the screen actually tweaking? It is tweaking. Okay. So I'm starting to think the labeling on the box was a little, little fabrication, but they would never lie. No way. Oh, so again with the power button, what I'm thinking is going on is the water is affecting the buttons. So it's actually force resetting the phone when it's pressing the power and volume button. The phone isn't actually dying on its own. Um, it's off again after three minutes exactly, back on. So surprisingly still working. I'm gonna see if I can get some air bubbles out of the volume jack. Oh, there it goes. And this one too. Ooh. Wow, that was actually a lot. Okay, that killed the iPhone. <laughs> All the water went in right away. So, Galaxy is still on. This thing has some serious water damage. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing on. So, at this point, the Galaxy was the first one to be affected, but as soon as I emptied the water from both of them, 
the iPhone is the one that looks to me a bit dead. So it took about four minutes and the Galaxy is the winner here. I'm gonna go ahead and dry them off. That is not good, it's going to be wired. It's a lot of water coming out though. Yeah, I just killed it with that actually. Before the real fight, looks like the fake iPhone is dead, down for the count. Water is not good for it. All right, Galaxy wins this round. Let's go on to the drop test. This, this one is ridiculously heavy, like at least twice as heavy as this one, so I think it'll be demolished. I think this will end up in a tie. So it appeared that this guy won, but that's not the case. They're both completely dead, literally just unresponsive. iPhone water tests that I do, usually the iPhone turns on after a while, but not the case here. All right, here we go. I'll do the iPhone 7 Plus first. We're gonna do waist height. We're gonna make this quick here. So onto the rear. Three, two, one. Rear, three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally the first to drop and it's dead. Oh my goodness. So this is literally like the cheapest glass that they could source, I'm guessing. This one's fine. I mean, this right here is plastic, so it's not gonna crack. <laughs> my guess was correct. This thing is so ridiculously heavy, it just fractured on impact. So that's just the top glass. The underneath LCD is good. So I guess we can somewhat keep going here. And this here is, I highly doubt that's glass. I think it's just plastic. Okay, side drop. I don't know, I guess we'll keep going until LCD underneath is broken. I can't tell if they're working or not. In three, two, one. Oh, devastation. Another big crack here. So if this one didn't crack, this one certainly would. Man, Samsung, you got some some ways to go before the quality reaches Apple's. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this is the shittiest drop test I've ever done on this channel. Holy crap. So uh, you may think you're using an iPhone, but you're not. And look at that, it's actually on. So there's a little Apple logo there. It's really hard to see here. But the backlight died. The actual phone is still working. I can tell the home button is working. All the icons are there. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see so the backlight died, but this thing is still working technically the iPhone one surprisingly the iPhone is still working It's hard to see I can't touch it or manipulate the display, but I can see that it's on without the backlight So still kind of winning here uh, So face down from waist height to three two one. Spider webs spider webs everywhere here so this one is, oh, it's still, the vibration motor is still working. Literally the cheapest, crappiest glass I've ever used. The plastic is exposed. That is so hilarious. Okay, let's go to the head height. Um, it's still working. I don't even know why I'm doing this anymore. They're completely demolished, but here we go. Rear impact, three, two, one. There is a massive dent here. <laughs> oh, the whole display is out of the phone. Vibration motor is still working. Oh yes, it is still working. So in the sunlight, can you see no? Oh man, the, it's still there, all the icons and stuff. Oh, touch screen is working. Sort of, in some areas. This guy, not looking too good. The back though is probably plastic for sure. There's no way that's glass. All right, side impact. What does it take to kill the iPhone? Three, two, one. Ooh, completely exposed. Uh, is it still working? I don't even know. I'm gonna try and pop it back in. No, so I think I think that did it. Home button is no longer responding. This one is dead as well. So guys, there it is. This is the battle of the clones. I'll be sure to reproduce this test just as soon as the essay is released, but I thought this would be kind of a curious little test uh, to see the durability of Chinese clones. Obviously you're paying a fraction of the price of the phone, so don't expect much, but it literally took one drop, one drop from waist height onto its back to crack the front of this literally like two millimeter thick glass. 
So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know what else you guys want to see down below. I'll try and fulfill requests. I'll have the giveaway results for you soon. Peace. Die, you scum. Yeah, so these guys don't fare too well against a nine millimeter handgun. Ouch. Ooh, this thing is absolutely devastated. Samsung Galaxy S8. I don't know why, just wanted to use my new gun, but. All right, guys. Peace.